Hi, my name is Jack Seaton, and I chose to do my website on Boise Cars and Coffee, which is a car club that meets right here in Boise on the third Saturday of every month for the months of April until September. Now, I chose to do this for my website because I'm a big car fan, and I've gone to most every event for the past two years, but all they have is this Facebook page, which barely has any information on it and then this Instagram page, which almost never has anything posted to it. So I figured a website might be a good place for some resources. Maybe some people who are on the fence about coming to an event can come and kind of check it out, learn more about it, and hopefully get them to come out. Uh, if we head over to the events tab, you can see the rules about the event, as well as the dates. You can see the past and then upcoming with July 16th being the next one. Go ahead and head over to directions. You can see the parking map um, with the spectator where the spectators are supposed to park, as well as if you'd like to show your car, you're more than welcome to park it in here. And if we head down, we've got a URL uh, that'll take us to a Google Maps uh, tab. And it's already got the pin dropped for you. All you need to do is put in punch in your address um, and it'll take you right to the event. Good to go makes your life a little bit easier. Now if we head over to the forum, this is actually the only place that requires an account. As you can see, I've got some um, pre-populated posts in here. Um, but if we get, let's head over and create an account so we can post in there. So if we go ahead and take a look at our users table, we can see that there's admin, my name and then two accounts with my name. So if we go ahead and try and create something else, test one, two, three. As you can see, it gets this green highlighting, meaning it's a valid name. Um, but if we were to do something that was already taken, such as Jack, as you can see, it gets this red highlighting, letting you know that that's not an acceptable username. Now the email is an optional. And then similar thing for the password, just as long as it's more than four characters, you'll go ahead and get that green highlighting. And now the verify needs to be exactly what that password is to get the green highlighting as well. It's red, green, another one, red, back. Now we're good. Let's go ahead and create this account. And now if you watch, we're on the account tab currently, but when I sign up via some jQuery, it will change around the account tab. It recognizes that we are signed in. Uh, change these buttons up here, as well as the content in the account tab. Um, it tells us our username, when the account was created, as well as how many times we've posted in the forum. Now if we head back over to the forum, now we've got these text box available for us. So if we go ahead and add some more stuff in here, When I hit create, it's going to go ahead and fire off an Ajax request, which is going to save this to my database. And then it's going to populate it on the top right here, as you'd expect, with the most recent being at the top, and then the oldest ones down at the bottom. So if we head back over to the database, you can see that that is in here. Uh, the contact is another place, but the contact is not required to be signed in. As you can see, we signed out. Go ahead and head over to the contact. And I could just say my name is Jack Seaton. Email. Let's go ahead and see. Say if someone wants to ask when the next event is, even though we've got it at the events tab. Go ahead and submit this. You can see that the request was submitted successfully. And then if we head over to the database, you can see that there's that row. Um, the, proud I'm, the part I'm most proud of is, would probably be the forum um, with the Ajax and then having it organized chronologically. Um, but that would also be the part that I would most like to improve on, potentially with the styling. Uh, it's not the prettiest thing in the world right now and potentially allowing for people to reply to the threads and not just have them stack on top of each other. Thanks for watching. And I hope you consider coming out to one of the upcoming events. It'd be great to try and grow the event bigger.